What are you watching? I should just leave her alone. Alright. Brain. Is that the remote? Nothing catches your eye. Alright. She has some ingredients she can make lunch for tomorrow. Okay. It would be best not to leave today. It would be best. Not yet. Let me save. Again. Yes, I want to overwrite the save file game. Don't even ask. Just do it. Yes, 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 sleep. Slow down. <laughs> <Is there> someone. <laughs> that looks painful. You should leave him be. Thanks. Um, <laughs> he just yeah, he, he right. just keeps walking. A transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. It's not nice to meet you. Is your bike okay? Are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yusuko seems to be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? No, I completely I missed an announcer it. Announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Maybe it was. Maybe she was fixing the antenna then slipped and hung herself. <laughs> he hung herself on the antenna by accident. <laughs> you might be right, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you might be right. I'm no detective, but I am a high school student. Body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. I don't want to get hurt on the bike. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? Just a moment, you And you answer philosophy. Wow, this teacher has no restraint with cussing at these high school students. Then again, I remember when I was in high school, one of the teachers would cuss at us. Maybe because the other students were assholes and I wasn't. I was the only good student. She even pointed that out. Everyone gave me everyone gave me suspicious looks, like that guy's a suck up. Like, no I'm not, I'm just I'm just nice. Your knowledge has increased. Leave me alone, go away. So, you getting used to this place? I've only been <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that was fast. And there isn't much to do here compared to the big city. Maybe that's why it's always to get used to. Something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? <laughs> I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Oh sure, free food. What about me, huh? No apologies. Go fuck yourself, you hit him in the balls. The of the dragon. You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? No. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Don't want to gain more weight than eat the food and then wow, exercise, you dumb you skank. Training to take over the business? Don't just if you sit I'm on your ass and don't do anything, yeah, you're gonna gain well, weight, but if you actually get up and work out, life. you won't gain any. Well you will, but it'll be muscle. Oh well, we should get going too. 
Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Oh, it's Junes. Oh, we should have invited that little girl. This is the cheap place you were talking about? They don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Thank you. Let me just grab that Sadonaga, and drink it. Shove it down my pants. Too. Yeah, I know. And I never had that moment. That moment of sitting together with a bunch of friends at a store. Drinking soda. But that's my that might be because I didn't have any friends in high school. No one talked to me. Shopping district much since. I'm lying. I actually had plenty of friends. I had enough. I had enough friends. You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? Question mark. Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. Who's that? Oh, that's Saki Kunishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside. You look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey! Is he the kid who transferred here? Did you want to ride his dick too? You want to ride my dick too, lady? There's plenty of room for everybody. <laughs> Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? I heard that you're a whore. It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends. So I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Yeah, he's annoying. Nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. Beer. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say, that person's your soulmate. That makes no sense. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? 
Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. What if she did that and the image you saw was yourself? Because you know, you're looking at a dark screen. I heard something this stupid. I'm my own soulmate. I'm gonna go masturbate. You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit no, what do you want, phone? Lurking around. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sitting in a squeaky chair. About stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I am saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. I'm not trying out shit. I heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel where one can see someone's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. Whoa. Evening. That little girl is gonna be my soulmate, isn't she? Oh, I knew it. Did your father call? No. He always says he will. The stupid Junae's commercial gonna come on? He's home! Oh damn it, now I can't stare at you while you sleep. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro It's Namatame, been confirmed. Husband of oh, double confirmed. Let's follow a report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer was alive, she was having an affair with her councilman secretary. The man's wife seems to be Mizuzu. Hiroga, I can I am butchering these names. I am so sorry for anyone who's Japanese and watching this. The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell would they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. Have I seen her? I can't tell. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? I think it's scary. I think huh? it's scary that someone was, was killed, killed at all, but not necessarily oh, on a foggy uh, day. So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? I see you. No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Are you the murderer? Huh? That's... A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. If they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. We'll be right back after these messages. Junes. Junes. Every day is customer appreciation. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip that. Every day is I think great. we've heard that. Shut up! I don't want to listen to your stupid. Can we go to Junes together sometime? <laughs> He's asleep. He's asleep. Don't worry, little girl. No. Me and you can go to Junez. Jeez. It's okay. He's just tired.
You should leave him alone. When I go to bed, I'll wake up Dad and tell him to get to his room. Alright. Nothing catches your eye, like always. It's the kitchen. Okay. Can I leave? Ah. Uh, I guess I'll save again. So far, all I've done is run around. Watch TV in your room. What if the midnight channel is like those infomercials for uh, Adult Swim at 4 a.m.? There's so many appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Uh oh, god damn it. He looks like the boy from the first, from the third one. Bullshit. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. <laughs> this is some ring bullshit. Oh! <laughs> Are you okay? Go away, I'm masturbating. Kind of. Did I wake you up? Nanako seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Oh, who the hell is this? I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. Ah, oh, come on, I already have a world history class in college. I don't need this. First, a little about me. I love to use my drowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river that's born in the past, that's born in the past, and flows ever forward. Hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Ho ho ho! And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transfer, Mr. Arius. Please stand up. When did A.D. in other words in Anadomana begin? What? When humans were born? Oh come on! I thought A.D. stands for after dinosaurs. Time since humanity began to emphasize religion. 
Most holidays are related to religion, you know, if you do some research, you may find some interesting facts. But regardless of the culture or the, or the tradition, the tide decides who will survive in the present and the future. And those survivors ensure that their will is passed down to the next generation. Now it's time to start from the beginning. Let's take a look at the origin of civilization. You gave the incorrect answer. God damn it, now I look like an idiot. I heard that transfer students are real idiots. 